teachings yeah. of Jesus, he only preached that there is only one true God. Yeah, he did not mention that he was God. He never preached that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit are co-equal, co-eternal, and these three are one. Rather, he's a Jew, just like Moses. Moses came with the commandment, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, that God, the Lord is one. Jesus came with that same commandment in Mark 12, 29. Jesus identified the only true God is the Father. He didn't say the only true God is the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. He said the only true God is the Father. In John and what's 17, very interesting, after he identified the Father as the only true God, he said Jesus, his messenger. And guess what? We Muslims, we believe that at the time of Jesus, if you followed his message, then you're a Muslim. Because a Muslim means someone who submits to the will of God. So at the time of Jesus, if you lived at the time of Jesus and you accept that he was a prophet and a messenger and a messiah and you accept that the Injil that he came with the gospel, then you're effectively a Muslim. That's what we're effectively telling you. There's only one but true God who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who Jesus identified. He never said the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, these three are the only one. That's the reason why I'm making a distinction between the teachings of Jesus and Christianity. What you're I'm following is the doctrine. I respect your own view, I you, you have the freedom to disagree, but what, what, what you're saying, brother, from the historical point of view, if you look at the, even the Son of God... I've heard that, I understand okay. that, but No, no, we're not saying... Okay, no, we're not no, saying no, no, you no, need to change no, no, if you are this or that. We're not saying... I'm not saying you... I'm yeah. saying that I'm, I just said I don't agree with that. And that's, okay. that's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. You, can look at, you. you can look into it, then you can ask by yourself. Well, just one, one clarification. When we were saying the Son of God, when the Bible used the Son of God, Son of God was used for many people in the Bible. For example, the... Adam was called the son of God, Moses was called the son of God, Jacob was called the son of God, Abraham called the son of God. So what we are saying, the son of God doesn't necessarily mean he is the God or he is the part of the God or he is the part of the Trinity. If you look at the uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 9, it's very, it clarifies what the son of God means. It's not the same as every other person. Jesus was sent on earth by God. I agree with that. And they, I agree with that. Agree and with that. And so then why are you comparing Abraham, Moses? Like I'm not comparing. No, what, what, what we are saying is that when the word son of God, son of God was used, and if you take the Son of God makes him something more than the other prophet, yeah, yeah. it doesn't make. Other things makes, I agree with you, he will come back again. No other prophet will come back again. He will, uh, uh, he, he will establish the kingdom of God uh, in second coming. I agree with you. So what we are saying is this, the, this the biblical term or the Trinity doesn't... Like Trinity, we don't find Trinity in the Bible. In Torah Bible, there is no Trinity. In Torah Bible, there is no... The word Trinity is not in the Bible at all, brother. What we are saying is this... That if you look at the teaching of Jesus, if you look at the teaching of his disciples, if you look at the teaching of the even early Christian, like the Ibunites, they never Ibunites. believe that. They never yeah. believe that the Jesus died on the cross or this or that. So if you look at the even the death of the Jesus, uh, if you if you compare the four gospels, they say if you look at the Mark and if you look at the John, John. So who was carrying the cross? Simon or the Jesus? Simon of Cyrene. Jesus, Simon of Cyrene. Yeah. Or Jesus. Yeah. In the Mark, it's Simon. In, 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 in the Gospel of John, it's mm. Jesus. Then, when Jesus died, when Jesus was crucified, in 9 a.m. or in afternoon? So, th there's clear contradiction. You see, what we are saying, brother? Look into it, yeah? <laughs> read, read the Quran. We can give the Quran. Read it. I read, read the Bible. It's not something that if I read the Bible, then I will be the Christian. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. So, if you, if you think it makes sense, then you can accept something, right? So, what, what I'm saying, brother, this uh, very... In, in short way, that's the, the gospel we do have, the gospel was not there at the time of the disciple. The gospel was not there in the early Christian. The canonized, canonical gospel, the, it was uh, one Christian uh, ethnicious, uh, one church father in 367 CE. That's the first time he said the 27 gospels is our gospel. Before that there was 49. We have the 5,700 gospel found in the earlier time. Since the uh, no, you mean the manuscripts? Man, sorry, manuscripts, manuscripts, sorry, yeah, manuscripts, yeah. Manuscripts, yeah. Manuscripts. Which they do, they do differ. There is a uh, uh, in from Oxford. There is a William Den. I forgot his uh, full name. So he collected hundred uh, scripture in that time, and he found thirty thousand differences within these hundred gospels, and he made it made it one gospel. What we are saying is this. Why we don't believe in the gospel? That's that's the reason. That's the, it doesn't come from the early source. It doesn't come from the teaching of the Jesus. It it came by. We don't know who the Mark is, who the Matthew is, who the Luke is. If I don't know, if I don't know him, how can I believe him? You see. So what I'm saying, brother, look into it. And Islam give us very simple teaching. When you say one God, we mean one God. We don't need to explain it three in one, yeah. four in one. No way. When we are saying the messenger, we believe messenger are the one who was appointed by the Creator, get the books from the Creator, get the scripture from the Creator. That's what very simple, brother. 
Now, we believe Jesus was the one of the greatest messenger in this earth. And if anyone rejects Jesus, they will never be a Muslim. Yeah. And they will never smell the taste of the Jannah, of the paradise. They will never smell. You see? So that's what we love Jesus. We love you, brother. That's what we are saying. This the come to the Jesus, actual teaching of Jesus. Even Prophet, even, 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 Prophet, even Prophet Muhammad, even Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, myself and Jesus are, are brothers, different mothers, but one brotherhood, which is Islam. Yeah. So we don't disrespect Jesus. In fact, that's the reason why Allah had to send the final Prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now the prophet here demonstrated how the original message of Jesus has been tampered because Brother. of the Gospels and the that's what I respect, but I'd rather so learn my Bible first before. Okay, that's, that's about Jesus. Okay. You can take, take you know, the Jesus. You know Do you know what? I, 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 I'll tell you one thing. Re study the Bible, study the Quran, and you will find yourself that when you actually compare the Quran with the Bible, hang on, if I'm strictly following the teachings of Jesus, then officially I'm actually a Muslim because I'm just following what Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is following. You see, you see, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did not come with a new message. He came with the same message of all the prophets, including Jesus. Just that confirming the previous message as well. From, that's it. He didn't come with a new message. So w when you study the Bible, I studied the Bible. Yeah, I yeah. went through the Christian school system. So I've read the Bible thoroughly. And I could tell you for sure, you would realize that when you stick to the words of Jesus, rather than following the church fathers and whoever the case or your priest, you start to realize, hang on, my priest or my church is not following what Jesus is. And you would realize when you look at the teachings of Jesus and the teachings of Muhammad, they come together. And that's it. And Jesus was not sent to you because Jesus says he was only sent to the lost of the house of Israel. So therefore the message was not for you. It was only for the Israelites. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, since he's the final prophet, no prophet shall come after him. So he was sent for everyone. He was sent, he was sent to you. He was sent to me. But Jesus is saying, I was not sent to the Goyim. He, he, I wasn't sent to the non-Jews. I was only sent to the Jews. That's fine. I respect yeah? your own. That's fine. Of course, no problem. Differ, but that's fine. No I, problem. I appreciate your own. No problem. Our job is only to convey the message. We're not here to convince you. If you like it, accept it. If not, then we ask Allah to guide you. And I, I advise you to read the Quran, to even read the Bible. I'm even telling you to read the Bible. You would realize when you read the Bible, you would see that I'm not actually following the teachings of Jesus. I've been, I've been taught by my church to believe in the Trinity, to believe Jesus died for my sins. But when you actually... I I believe when I read my Bible. Have you read the Bible? Yes, I'm... I haven't read it all the way through, but I'm in the process of reading my Bible. And things that I've read, I believe that they are just Okay, how many books of the Old Testament? I can't tell you that. But Come on, that's a basic question. But, what I'm t I, but I don't feel like that's a, a judge of my own faith. Okay, what's the... What's the I feel like you qu quizzing me on the Bible isn't a test of my own faith. No, 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 I, I, no I'm, say, I'm saying to you that some people say I've read the Bible, but perhaps you've only been taught by the church to... I'm, not, I'm talking about my own personal reading of the Bible. I'm going through the Bible again by myself. So okay. No, it's important because you know every Christian, it, because it's very important I ask that question because every Christian that I ask, they don't know their own Bible. This is what I'm saying. Okay, like you may, you, you may have, you may have read the passage. But, but, yeah. their own different journey. Like everyone starts at a different stage. So you're saying that... I, I agree, I'm I agree, so, I, I agree. Like that's a very invalid question. No, 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 I'm not here to, I'm not here to quiz you. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I, I'm actually encouraging you to read the Bible. Study the Bible, study the Quran, you compare it, you see for yourself that Jesus, is he really, like, look, Jesus put his face on the floor. He's praying. Who prays like that? The Muslims. Jesus was circumcised. You read in Luke 2, 21, who are circumcised? The Muslims. That's fine. I thank you for your... Oh, you're going, yeah? Islam, because, yeah? Yeah? No problem. Yeah. No problem. Go and study, study the Bible, study the Quran, and you'll find the truth. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Take care, yeah? May Allah guide you. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you, brothers. Take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um, Brothers and sisters, I hope you all will do well inshallah So alhamdulillah myself and brother Nazmul We uh, gave da'wah to uh, One of them was an ex-Hindu ex uh, And the other friend is a Christian And then their friend is, is a Muslim Alhamdulillah um, So uh, we predominantly gave da'wah to the Christian um, you know, Even though he says that he disagrees our, our job is only to convey the message of Islam. That's what myself and Brother Nazma and the rest of the, the brothers are doing. We're not here to, we're not here to change to change their mind. We're here just to convey the message. It's only Allah who guides and reveals. So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to uh, guide into Islam. Ameen. May Allah open his heart. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept our efforts. Ameen. Because we can make mistakes. 
And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive all of our shortcomings. I mean, Jazakallah for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.